Okay. Right, so 7.4, probably going to struggle with this because uh, I'm looking for tricks to answer this question. First thing you notice is that this is a disguised box. Flip these two sections in here. So here you've got six, um, 20, take away six is 14. Flip it across so you've got a box. So that's our first trick to the answer this question. The neutral axis is going to be bang in the middle. So Y neutral axis will be given at 30 millimeters. Um, next. So the next sort of trick is it's saying the maximum shearing stress. Now this hasn't actually been covered, I think, in either Arnold's lecture or in the bonus uh, videos. So you'd say to yourself, where is the maximum um, shearing stress? You've seen diagrams of it, just don't think it's been particularly emphasized. Where does that occur? Well, it occurs at the neutral axis. So we know that we're going to get a maximum shearing stress. And since we found going to have to find shearing stress at A, and B, we will call this location C. So I'm going to get a shearing stress C, which will be my maximum value. And I will grab my um, shear flow equation. And put in the contact distance. I will use B. Um, uh, so I know this value. I don't know I, and I don't think I particularly want to. I want to avoid calculating it. I could go down the route of finding I. I know my contact distance here. So for C, it will be... BC will be uh, 2 times 6 millimeters. So B I know, um, Q Q I can find. So we are going to split up our box to a few sections. So QC is going to be um, neutral axis is 30. So from here to here, we got a centroid of 15. From here to here is 30. So 30 take away 2 is going to give me a centroid of 28. So QC will be got two of these sections. Um, so two of them, their width is 6, their height is 30, and their uh, 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 centroid is 15. And then, so yeah, so remember that Q equals AY, or sum of. And then the top section is a width of what? 40 take away 12. So that is 28 times 4 times 28. 
And so that would be millimeters to the power three. Okay, so that is giving me eight, five, three, six and millimeters to the power of three. Oh, right, so what to do next? So let's look for our A section. So for our A section, we will make a cut through here and then imagine we're looking at this. So let's look at uh, QA. So the distance from here down to here is going to be what? 30. Take away 2, so that would be 28 again. So the area is 20. Take away 6, so that's 14. Its height is 4. And its centroid location is 28. So we've got 14 times 4 times 28. So that's 1,568 millimeters the power of 3. Okay, so next let's use um, the fact that um, remember that I've cut through this twice. So I have got 75 megapascals. Uh, v is going to be common for both terms. The QC is this value here, but I've cut through it. Um, oh no, I've taken that into account, haven't I? So I've, uh, I've cut through that twice, yeah. You see, yeah, so okay, so I need to take into account that I've uh, made a cut for that twice. Uh, I will be the same, and that will be two times six. Uh, So uh, I can sort of work out the, this VI term, which is something I know nothing about. Well, I know nothing about V. I could work out, but I don't need to. So that's going to be eight five three six divided by twelve. So therefore, I can say V divided by I is going to be given as 75 times 12 divided by 8536. Okay, so that equals this number. <clears throat> I've been very naughty with my units. Hopefully, um, it's going to come out in the wash. Right, so let's come back to 
using QA. So what can we say there? So we're looking for the stress at A. So we're going to use this equation again. The V divided by I we know to be 0 0.10544. The QA this time is 1568. And the contact distance is 4 millimeters. Okay, so keep working in millimeters, and hopefully you won't go wrong. So what? 0 0.0544 times by 1,568 divided by 4. So that gives me 41.3. So this was in megapascals, so this should be in megapascals. I don't know if that's correct or not. Well, uh, final solution is um, 41.4, so maybe a bit of truncation error by myself. So, um, so that's the stress there. Now, what about the stress for this section here? So, uh, you need to identify a bit of Q to try and shear away from the other section. So I would be tempted to take a sort of block like this and imagine that's being sheared away from the other bit of the channel. So let's start off by working out what Q B is for that particular section. So that has a width of 40, take away 12. So that has a width of 28. It has a height of 4. And its neutral uh, centroid is 28 again. So this time, we're going to have 28 times 4 times 28. So we get 3,136 millimeters to the power of 3. So let's now work out our shear stress. Again, we're using our v, v divided by I value, which I calculated up here. There's better ways to do this, I'm sure. But, uh, the Q value is going to be um, uh, 3,000. 136 and the B we've got to be careful because we've got a contact that's shearing away here and a contact here shearing away so we've got two of them so 2 times 4 so what does that give me so point one zero. 544 times 3136 divided by 2 divided by 4 again gives me 41.3 megapascals. Okay, probably could do this more bit more algebraically, but um, that shows you the basic sort of well, there's a couple of tricks in this question, isn't there? The one is to recognize that this is in effect like a box. Therefore, the neutral axis was straightforward. It's just bang in the middle. 
The other one is that we're not given V and there's no need to work out what I is uh, because we can use those terms. So you look out for questions like that. So I could have worked out I, uh, but uh, I didn't need it. And because I've been told, and the other trick is that um, the spot here is that we've been told the maximum shear stress of a particular value and you should know that the maximum shear stress happens at the neutral axis. Okay. You'd have seen that in some uh, some of the, the diagrams and whatnot, but uh, I think the the point wasn't particularly emphasized anywhere. Okay, so that one was uh, straightforward. You can avoid a lot of algebra using those tricks.